Hi, I'm Kevin Castaneda, and this is Kev's Mindset, where we talk everything finance, investing, mindset, and productivity. And in this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about the top three stocks that I'm excited to own going into 2022. So we're going to be covering all of that in this video. So if you do enjoy, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe if you do want to watch more of my content in the future. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first stock that I'm really excited to own heading to 2022 is Tesla. Now, Tesla has gotten a lot of hate because of the fact that, you know, it is quite highly valued and uh, there was a lot of bankruptcy risk when it, when it was first going public and that, that now that's a long time past. But a lot of people still don't believe in the fact that EVs are going to be the dominant share of the car market in the next decade or so. So when you look at Tesla, there's a lot to look at. They're a robotics company, an AI company, an EV company, a solar company. They're basically everything in one that you would want in like a world changing type company. So personally, I'm really excited for them in 2022 because of the fact that I think supply chain constraints will start to like go down and I think that it'll be a lot easier for Tesla to be able to actually ship their products and actually have their customers get it in a reasonable time. And I think that this is a huge catalyst for Tesla because right now they're doing incredible as they as, as we've seen in their earnings reports and that their stock has rallied like crazy in the re, in the past few months. And the reason we've seen this is because they've been doing well even though that there's supply chain constraints. So now the question is, are they going to do even better now that one, one supply chain constraints are gone? And I think the logical answer would be yes, of course they are. If there's no supply chain constraints, why would they not do better as a company if they could ship more and they could do everything a lot easier out of nowhere, Downtown. right? So Multiple. I think that's important for us to take into account. And that makes me very excited for Tesla stock in the future. So that was stock number one. Now, moving on to stock number two, I want to talk about a firm. A firm is a buy now, pay later company. They went public a little while ago and they went, they started out at about $49 per share. They're currently sitting at about 110 after they have just finished rallying to about 170 for an all time high. Now they've fallen off due to the fact that there, there was a lot of things, there's a lot of things going on in the market right now. And there's kind of a risk off movement going on in the market where a lot of people don't want a company that's not making money right now. And yeah, sure, a firm's growing revenue like crazy. They're getting new customers. They have a very intriguing uh, business model, but they're not currently profitable so that creates a big problem for the company in the short term because a lot of investors don't want to be in a company right now that isn't profitable even if they have a roadmap for profitability or whatever so a lot of it that's why we see a lot of the money flowing into the big caps because they're long term uh, they have a lot of capital in case inflation continues rising or if interest rates are risen or whatever goes on they should be able to like go through the storm per se but personally, I'm really excited for the buy now, pay later kind of sort of business when it comes to consumers trends moving on into 2022, because I think that there's going to be a big movement of taking on just like 0% loans in order to buy whatever it is you want. And I think a firm's right in the perfect place to do that. They have deals with Walmart, Target, Amazon, and many more places. And so I'm really excited for them. I think that they're going to do great in the next coming year. And I think that they're going to be able to prove to everybody that they're a great company and that they are going to continue to grow revenue and continue to grow as a company in general. So I'm very excited for that. Now, to move on to the last and final stock is stock number three, and that is NVIDIA. NVIDIA. NVIDIA is a company I just recently purchased. Um, I actually purchased it yesterday or uh, December 14th, and I'm really excited about NVIDIA. I think that they're an incredible company. They're heading towards that trillion dollar market cap, and I think that there's a lot of growth um, that they can expect in the future, and I, they're trading not too crazy. They're trading at like a 64 forward PE, which, you know, it's underneath Amazon, but it's like almost but it's higher than like apple and google and stuff so i think i see a lot of growth coming forward with them i see a lot of opportunity as they are in like literally every industry they're in ai they're in blockchain they're um in self in self driving they're in literally everything that you can uh imagine basically at this point they're in a lot of different industries and they're all industries that i was always very interested in but i never took the time to actually research nvidia and i think nvidia is gonna have a huge growth story ahead 
heading into 2022 when supply chain constraints go down when they're able to get more products out when they're able to continue providing newer and newer things i think nvidia is going to be one of the big tech giants heading into next year so i'm willing to place some money on the line and bet on the fact that that is going to come into fruition i think nvidia has a lot going for them in the future so without a doubt, I'm very excited about NVIDIA going into 2022. And I think that their business model is quite intriguing. And I think that they're one of the more interesting companies in the market right now. So that's it for the top three stocks that I want, that I would am very excited to own heading into 2022. Obviously I have other companies in my portfolio and I'm very excited about those companies as well. But these are like the three that I see the highest upside in. Uh, so yeah. Those are the three companies I'm really excited about heading into 22. Let me know where your top three stocks are heading into 2022. Love to hear it. Go ahead and smash the like button if you did enjoy this video and go ahead and subscribe if you do want to watch more of my content in the future. See you in the next one. This was Kev's Mindset. I'll see you.